Today on our 2014 Toyota Prius C, we're going to be test fitting the Thule Passage. Now this is a two bike trunk mounted style rack. The part number is TH910XT. We also have this available in a three bike. That part number is TH911XT. Now per Thule's fit guide, we should set our fit dial to the number eight. We found on this particular application to get our arms to sit in a little more level position, we actually went to the, the ninth position for this number nine setting on the fit dial. So use eight if you'd like as per Thule's recommendation or by going to nine, you can get a little more room. And the fit dial, just a small set screw on each arm here. And each of the 11 holes that go around the side here are numbered. Here's number eight, there's number nine, as I said. We're using number nine. So you just place it in there and then tighten your wing nut down. Once we have that snug, we're going to rest the bottom pads onto the top tier of our bumper. The top pads are going to go right up against the back glass. We'll then take the straps that are located right on top. These are going to go to the front edge of our trunk lid or hatch lid on each side. And then we're just going to snug them up slightly. As you can see as I do that, it's kind of taking the weight off my leg there and place it onto those straps. So that's going to hold it in place for us. We'll then come around to the side. The side straps have a hook on each end. We've got a small gray one and a large black one. Small gray one goes underneath the lid of the trunk. The small black one comes to the side. You'll need to hook it in here lower and then you can move it up where you want to position it. Just as we did on the top, we'll take just a little bit of the slack out here. It's just going to hold our hooks in place for us while we come around and get these taken care of. Bottom hook to the bottom, side hook goes to the side. We'll then look at our positioning. The Toyota emblem, or Prius emblem that goes up and down here does a good job of pointing for us. So we just want the top of it to be pointing towards the middle of our top bar, the bottom to be pointing at the middle of our bottom bar. The rear pads are gonna rest up against our rear windshield. And as you can see, the wiper blade would make contact. So you won't be able to use the wiper when you have this rack installed, so just keep that in mind. We'll then just put a little more tension on our top straps here. Then we'll go to the side, do the same thing. We're just doing it a little bit at a time. That's going to help us evenly tighten the rack down to the rear hatch here. It's all looking really good. This one needs a little bit more. As you can see, once we get our straps tight, really secures firmly to the rear of the vehicle. To load our bike, we're just gonna pinch the knobs or the small push-in buttons on each side of the arm and then we'll rotate it up into position. With that in position, let's undo the cradle straps. And we'll grab our bike and place it right up into the cradles. Oh, that anti-sway cradle is giving me some trouble. There we go. And then, of course, we'll bring our straps over the top here to get it secured. Just like that, we've got our bike all loaded up onto their Thule Passage. Part number TH910XT. Now we're going to take the bike rack out through our test course so you can see what it looks like in action.